Hey, how's it going? Okay, everyone. Let's get to the bottom of this. Mason Steele, what do we know about him? Hey, he's, he's a solid actor. Uh, he's a great actor. He's going to work out the set for a clown car for him. Return to clown car? Return to clown car. That's going to be a good film. I mean, you could say I'm a Jason Steele fan, but no, nah, not, not really. Not too much. <laughs> That's classified. Anyway, I really like the character development in Clown Car 3, Son of Bozo. It's like his Can father was- Can skip back to the case? You know, Johnson's a newbie. Fresh meat. Got a lot to learn. I have a doctorate in criminal psychology. Groves is an incompetent moron. Sometimes Johnson tends to step out of line, but I think I keep my cool. God damn it, Johnson! The film is relevant to the case. Okay, anyway, let's get back on topic. What evidence do we have? Well, we have some about 15 minutes worth of surveillance of Steely acting suspicious around the bank. Okay, okay. Kowalski, I'm gonna need you to review those tapes tonight. Johnson. What? Get a warrant, get a task force, and put steel behind bars. Got it. Everybody break. Okay, everyone. Steel is not behind bars because somebody couldn't get a warrant. Uh, yeah, uh, I think he was talking about Johnson, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I think he was. Oh yeah, it was definitely Johnson. He's got a lot to learn. There was an insufficient amount of evidence after something happened last night. What could I have done? The evidence just disappeared from the cabinet in the morning. Kowalski, Matthews, you're gonna come with me while everyone else stays here and doesn't mess up. Okay, we're gonna search through every single one of these files until we can find something that's gonna put Steel in his place. You got it? Let's do it! Okay, I like the energy. You guys, you're gonna wanna take a look at this. In 2012, Steel pirated a copy of Madagascar 3. Europe's Most Wanted? Europe's Most Wanted! This is, this is it. This is what we need. Get in touch with the Department of Anti-Piracy. The DAP? The DAP. I must say, I'm a huge fan of your work. But do you know why you're here? Look, I know why I'm here, but we were just filming a guerrilla art film. We let the local law enforcement know what we were doing, but we had to leave the public in the dark if we wanted genuine reactions. Wait, so you had permission? Yeah, I thought you guys knew, so I was ready, but a warrant was never mounted, so I didn't think anything of it. Okay, 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 look. We can do something, all right? Let's just forget about this. Actually, Article Section 7 8 says you can't. Dead tops it. DAP. Look, can't we just let him off the hook? Can you take a favor or something? <laughs> yeah, sure. More like federal corruption, not on my watch. I don't take favors, I don't take bribes, I don't take holidays, I don't take breaks. The only thing I take is a job seriously. And a bag of cornflakes. Helps you tame my libido. What's wrong, Kowalski? Well, Kowalski told us everything about how we were lied to, kept in the dark. Now we have an innocent man's blood on our hands! Okay, I don't get it. Why is this so bad? Well, we put an innocent man behind bars. What do you mean, why is this bad? That's not it, though. Yeah, I just had to tell him that with Jason still in jail, it's gonna be a very long time until Clown Car 4, so...